Hello children, this is Miss Debbie. I have a wonderful story to share with you today. But before that, let's pray and then worship God. Father, we come to your throne of grace just as we are. We pray, Daddy, that you will be with us, help us to learn and be glorified as we praise you and worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Naomi's husband and sons died. Naomi decided to move out of Moab and come back to Bethlehem. And Ruth was so loyal to Naomi that she said to Naomi, I will go where you go. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. So Ruth followed Naomi and she came to Bethlehem. And now they didn't have much. And you know what Ruth did? She went to the fields nearby and she gleaned and took these grains and sheaves of grains. And it so happened that she was in the field of a man called Boaz. And Boaz had heard about Ruth and he was very, very impressed because she was she was so loyal to Naomi and she worked really hard and she was collecting all these grains and working all day. And uh, you know what Boaz told the servants? He said, oh, leave some more sheaves for her. So she doesn't need to just pick the little fallen down ones but she can take some more and she can go home. And uh, it so happened that she found favor from Boaz and Boaz married Ruth and redeemed Ruth and Naomi. And you know what? She looks like a stranger, a foreigner in this land, but you know what happened? After, Na after Ruth and Boaz got married, they had a son. And their son had another son whose name was Jesse. And Jesse had a son. Guess what's his name? His name was David. So Ruth and Boaz's great grandson was David. And you know who else comes from David's lineage? Jesus. Jesus comes in their lineage and just like how Boaz redeemed Ruth, Jesus is there to redeem us from our struggles and to give us these sheaves of grains and everything we need. And even if you feel like a foreigner or an outsider, remember Jesus is your redeemer. And he has redeemed you and he is able to give you everything. And from this story, what we learn is loyalty. We learn that. We learn how Ruth was loyal to her mother-in-law. And how her loyalty was appreciated by Boaz. And how God rewarded and redeemed Ruth. And today, Jesus is here. Redeem us. God's Story, Ruth. So part of God's story is about a woman named Ruth, and it begins like this. Ruth lived in a place called Moab and was married to a guy who was part of God's special family, the Israelites. A few years later though, Ruth's husband died. Instead of returning to her family, which would have been expected, she stayed with Naomi, her husband's mom. Naomi tried to get Ruth to go back to her family in Moab, but Ruth wouldn't leave Naomi, no matter what. In fact, she wanted to go back to Israel with her. Ruth said, your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. So they both returned to Naomi's home in Bethlehem. Back then though, it was hard for women to find work. Usually, they had to be taken care of by their husband or a dad. It's really hard to imagine that now, but Naomi and Ruth might not have even known how they'd survive. At first, to get food, Ruth went to the fields of a man named Boaz and followed his harvesters around. If they dropped anything, even just a piece of grain, she picked it up. This was called gleaning. Ruth worked from morning to night and barely even took a break. Boaz noticed. 
he told his workers to leave behind some extra grain for her to gather. When Naomi heard about this, she was overjoyed because Boaz was Naomi's relative and what's called a family redeemer. That meant that it was his responsibility to take care of his family. If anybody was going to rescue Ruth and Naomi, it was Boaz. Kids, we have a redeemer too. It's Jesus. He's the one who saves us. Anyway, this gave Naomi an idea. She told Ruth to put on her best clothes and perfume and then go to the place where Boaz was sleeping. Naomi said that once Boaz had gone to sleep, Ruth should lay down by his feet. Now, this may sound like a weird plan, but it was actually really brave. Ruth trusted Naomi and obeyed. When Boaz woke up, he was surprised. After all, someone was lying at his feet. That's not exactly a normal night. When Boaz asked who Ruth was, she said, I am your servant. You are my family redeemer. Now Boaz understood. Ruth wanted Boaz to marry her so that she and Naomi would both be taken care of. Boaz agreed. This was a huge deal. Ruth wasn't an Israelite, but she wanted to follow God anyway. By marrying Boaz, she got to officially be part of God's family. In fact, Ruth's great-grandson was King David. And many, many years later, Jesus, the rescuer, was born into the same family line. Now, because of Jesus, we get to be a part of God's family too. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. Ruth was from Moab. Her husband died. Ruth was left with his mom, Naomi. Naomi told her to go home. Ruth said no. She went to Israel with Naomi. They needed someone to take care of them. Ruth gleaned in a field. Boaz noticed. He left extra grain for Ruth. Naomi made a plan. Ruth obeyed it. She wanted to marry Boaz. He agreed. Ruth became part of God's special family. And we can too. And that's a part of God's story. Now let's pray and close. Father God, thank you for such a wonderful story that we can read and relive from the Bible. It's such a beautiful love story that was orchestrated by you. Father, you are a God who never rejects or abandons anyone. Whoever comes to you, whoever embraces you, you always just take them into your wings. So we pray, Daddy, that today, just like how you rewarded Ruth's hard work and loyalty, I pray, Daddy, that you will teach these children to work hard and to be loyal and to bless their families and, and that they will know from their heart that you will reward them and their hard work. And I pray, Daddy, that you will just keep them safe, keep them under your wings and protect them and bless them and guide them, Father, and fill them with your wisdom and surround them with your favor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just to recap the memory verse for the day, it's Judges 6.16. God said, I will help you. God said, I will help you.